Good morning, my Gucci gang. Today is the day I am going to Bangladesh. After 12 long years, I am going back to my motherland. Bro, like, I call myself Smash Bengali, and I haven't even been to the motherland in 12 years, man. I do that, la, la, la. But, like, bro, I'm so excited, fam. This is going to be one of the most incredible cultural journeys, and I'm so excited to be taking you on the way with me as well. Literally, I just got out of the shower. Also, this is my finished home studio i'm kind of worried that i might be overweight not like as in me obviously as in my luggage bruv my mom just smuggled in bare muscles last minute and yeah i probably had like this much space for my underwear and clothes this is literally the first time i'm going to bangladesh without my family my mom's just been moving hella worried like lately we know that it's now or no that it's now more easy but like them ones because obviously like we have relatives abroad trying to take our land and shit i mean what Bengali doesn't and uh, she's just proper worried that I'm gonna go over and they're gonna find me and they're gonna try and kidnap me and shit but I just need to you know reassure her like I'm, uh, I'm gonna be safe I've got a team with me as well that's gonna be over there just uh, the difficult part now saying goodbye to my family oh yo say hi to the vlog man hi <laughs> tell me I'ma miss you man do do be like I'm gonna go to no 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 <laughs> Last minute breakfast. Obviously got the bangles on. Got my sister with me. My bruv. These undies are moving different, bruv. Literally, we just seen a sting operation go down, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. I'm here, I'm full of it, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. So, I have just arrived in Manchester. This is goodbye for now. The next time you see me, I'll be a lot more tanned with a lot more moksha bites. I'll be in the right. No. Acha, roi. Acha. Make sure you bring me back badam. Badam. Bangladeshi badam. All right, let's head to the airport. Boom. I have never seen so many Asians on time, bro. The one time we are punctual. The one time. <laughs> oh my God, it's just on the mark, fam. Alhamdulillah, the baggage wasn't overweight, so I am now off to departures. Got some poached egg on sourdough. Oh my God, my. And a cappuccino. Head into the gate. Pretty sure that's the one I'm getting on. Bismillah. Oh, this is your seat. This one. Thank you, Uncle. I don't understand what you're saying. Okay. Just boarded the flight. How are you? Okay. Inshallah, safe flight. I'll be Bangladesh. Ha, 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 ha. Really nice meeting you. Okay. My guy, bro. Official Don. We just landed in Doha. I'm just gonna go and try and hunt down a Hello McDonald's fam. You know what time it is. Walking through the duty free. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. Champagne. Bro, there's so much astaghfirullah. Vodka halal halal. Kali mod khat. Man, shit. Khan lai, bro. Man wants a Big Mac. You know what I'm saying? And it's halal here, bro. Man just saw this out of nowhere. I don't understand what kind of teddy bear is this. It looks bare sad or like kind of angry as well. I don't know, bro. I didn't find a halal McDonald's, but halal burger king rib by the chorney. Oh, the fuck, yama, big king XXL, whopper, chicken tender grill, but chorney. It's about to go down, double it's steakhouse. Imagine I got so excited to eat my burger, I literally spilled coke all over my white hoodie. My white hoodie. So glad I packed another t shirt because I had a feeling something like this was gonna happen. But anyway, it's time to dig into this. I don't know where to start. Even though I can get fries in the UK, I just wanna bang one of the fries real quick. They're nice, they're fresh. And I know what some of you hobbies about China are gonna say, did I say bismillah? I did. In my brain. Do I go for the beef or the chicken first? For all my days, this looks so good, bruv. I'm gonna be the only one. But to be fair, by the time you look watch this video, this would have turned into a guy anyway. I'm just watching this guy take pictures with his car, bruv. Ready? Yeah, me and you. 
About to board to Bangladesh, but I just bumped into a Gushti <laughs> member, Nilima. She's traveling to Silet to visit her family. Big time Gushti member. Really appreciate the support, my sis. <laughs> Come fly with me, let's fly, let's Bikes fly away. Bikes up with this time going to sleep, bro. Meanwhile, yeah, man has to crunch myself into these two seats. But sometimes like this, I'm kind of grateful for the vibes and so Six and a half hours later. I am so excited. <laughs> Getting bare like childhood memory flashbacks and that. Uh, Yo, Sasa's ego. The plane even. Walk up, boys. A few moments later. Oh my god, so I've just landed. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's my first time coming back after 12 years. So it's a long time. Oh, yeah, thank, thank you. You guys you have been amazing. Bismillah. Oh my days. I feel the heat straight away, fam. That humidity. I'm getting such a rush of emotions. Oh my days, like that Bangladeshi smell. I don't know how to explain it, but I can smell Bangladesh. Bro, I have no idea what's going on. My Gusti gang member, do you have any idea what's going on? Nope. Fam. Welcome to Bangladesh. <laughs> Alright, so I got all my COVID shit sorted. Now I'm gonna go get my immigration stuff sorted. Cause I'm an immigrant here, bruv. Then I gotta get my bag. Then I gotta exchange hella money. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I see a guy holding a sign. And it says Mr. Oh, ben. I see my name. You see your name? Yeah, it's right there. Jeez! Calling me a celebrity. You're Thanks the celebrity, a celebrity I've got through immigration now. Round and round we go. Literally puts their luggage like that. Literally a bus stop. Bro, I don't even know where my... I need to try and pack... Wait, is that my luggage, bro? Oh my god, that's my package! Yo, people love staring at me, you know? You lot seem lovely, mate. Bro, I don't know what the hell is going on here, fam. Everyone's got a microwave. Alright, so now I'm going through customs. I have nothing to declare. I have a vape pen and... Hello underwear. Alright, Bangladesh 2022. Let's go. This is in love. Oh my days, it's so hot. I'm meant to have a driver here, but I can't see no one, bruv. No one, bruv, holding my sign, my name, nothing like that. I don't even know what to do now. I'm just kind of stuck. I need to call him somehow. I need to contact him somehow. The only way I can call him is using the Wi-Fi, but I tried connecting to the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi don't work, bruv. So... Yeah, okay, all right. I think this is the part of the vlog where I stop vlogging and I try and get my life and shit together a little bit. Let me try sort this out and then I'll be back in a second. Boom. So at this point, I have 40,000 taka in my pocket. I have no driver. I have no way to contact my driver and I'm getting bit up by moshas. Now what happens next? Do I get kidnapped? All I have is a hotel address. If you want to find out what happens next, then drop a comment down below. All I'm going to say is it involves this guy. My name is Aladdin. And this guy's massive bones. 